Hey guys, DJ Griffin here from the Whole Bunch Kids Squad. Welcome back and Happy New Year. And this video is going to be a rundown of my 2015 year for both my real life situations and what also went down on the channel. So let's get started from way back to January. January began okay. Um, I started off January pretty sick. Um, cause I had gotten sick over New Year's, that little time period in between. But, um, also in that time period, Ohio State made it to the not, to the playoffs, and they eventually won the whole thing, so that really made me happy. And I'll show you guys my, uh, evidence of that, maybe. Where the heck did it go? Oh, here we go. National Champions. If you guys remember that helmet, I did an unboxing of that. My mystery mini helmet. I gotta get back on those. So yeah, January, the year started off okay. I mean, it had its ups and downs. I mean, it started the year off sick. So that always doesn't do well. Um, Academically wise, school was good. 7th grade is probably the easiest year from around here in the Cleveland area where I live. Um... So yeah, school went fine. My grades were all great. My friends were good. Um, and then we got into summer. Summer was... I, I thought that this was going to be a great summer. I was on a whole new baseball team, meeting a lot of new kids. Um, I was going to go on a big vacation. Um, oh, I totally forgot spring break. I'm such a noob. So this is going to channel-wise. Spring break, I filmed my first vlog series. If you guys know, I'm starting to get into that those vlog kind of things. First, I was into, like, recording video games and stuff, which I liked doing, but I wasn't very good at. So I thought, okay, what's one thing that I'm good at? I'm funny. I love making videos. And, oh, sorry, guys, I accidentally opened up text. And um, I love uh, talking and, like, interacting with people. So, um, yeah, and there were also around that time, Truth or Dare 1 went up. Which was December 17th, I believe. Uh, you could go back on 25 Days of Vlogs and check Day 17 to see if I'm right. If you could, that'd be great. Thank you a lot. But uh, anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So around that point, I was starting to get pretty consistent with my Truth or Dare videos. I um, They started off really well. But they started to go downhill a little bit. Every single video would get less and less views. Um, like, that's how it is so far. But, I mean, it was great. But, anyway, back to the Florida vlog. The, those vlog, that was my first ever vlog series, and that was very successful. And that was also where I got one, probably one of my most loyal subscribers. His name, his, his channel's name is Vlog Fan, And this guy has probably commented on every single one of my videos since those vlogs. I mean, I'll go... I'll go to those vlogs right now, and I'll show you guys. Um, so, like, we got part one of eight. So, let's see if you guys, do you guys remember this? Look at that. This, my voice sounds really high. Alright, so let's pause that. But, um, let's go back. One comment. Look at that. There he is. That was the first ever video that I think he saw me. said, I love these types of vlogs so much. You get to see how things are. And all that stuff without having to go. You also get to find out if it's worth going. And what is cool or not. Ever since I started making. Ever since I made those um, Florida vlogs. Um, this guy or girl. Um, started commenting on every video. And liking every video. So and i just like to say a big huge thank you. To that. Um, to you vlog fan. So uh, there's. Your shout out, I guess you could say. Um, also, um, around, so after the Florida vlogs ended, I was still into that truth or dare kind of thing. I was on about episode four or five, I want to say. Yeah, four or five. And my, they were still pretty high up there, but they were getting lower and lower on the scale. Um, so I thought, what other videos could I do? And so... Getting into the summer, I started, I'm, I recorded a fishing video with my friend Aiden, and it's called Fishing with Dom, Not a Bad Start, 
and we actually recorded this. It was uploaded on October 7th, but we probably recorded it in, like, July. So, actually, no. It wasn't July. Oh, I'm thinking of another. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. That video did go up in October, and it was filmed in October. Oh, October. But, um, I'm thinking of another video that we made. Uh, it was another fishing video. But I didn't have the back brace and all that. But it was with my friend Aiden. And we went out. And we just started fishing. And just seeing what we could catch. And that really got me into fishing. So this was before my uh, vacations. And uh, they were a really fun vacations. I went on it with my friend Dylan. Uh, my friend Kyle. And my brother. And their sisters. And we had a great time. It was a really fun vacation. I met a lot of, I met some new friends there. I'll show you guys a picture if I can find it. Um, alright, so, that's, alright, so, yeah, guys, I know. Wait, I'm gonna send out that Instagram, because that's my dad's Instagram. So, there's me. There's me. There's, uh, sh her name is Savannah. You can see her little face right there. That's a girl named Jolie. And they Oh, there's another picture of her on Uvu. Um, yeah. And there's Josh. Do you guys know about that 25 Days of Vlogs thing? He kind of has a crush on her. But anyway, yeah. Um, back to on topic. So, they've been my friends since we met. And they're really cool. They're really nice. And, um, so now we're getting on to my tragic injury. And this injury is still kind of affects me to this day. I mean, it, it's an injury that I'll never forget. If you guys don't know, here's what happened. I was playing football in a scrimmage. So this was before, like, even games started. And I'm the starting quarterback for my middle school, or was. But, and then, so I was, it, we called an air raid pass, which is just basically a pass. And so it was a scrimmage, so we had some of our backups in. We had our backup tackle in, right tackle, which if you guys don't know, it's a lineman. If you guys don't know what that means, they block. <laughs> so, um, he doesn't really play much, and so here's what happened. I got the snap, I'm sitting in the pocket looking for an open receiver. Um, he totally, he missed his block, so I had to scramble out of the pocket. Guy grabs me by my arm, like, twists me around and throws me down on my head. So... My spine kind of just right up here in between my shoulder blades just kind of crunched. And that is no... And at first we didn't know what it was. We had to wait a couple months to get a CAT scan. At first we thought it was just like a bruise in the muscle. and It was no big deal. But uh, we later found out that it was two compression fractures on my spine in two different places known as T4 and T5. Which meant that I was out for the season for football. So... That was kind of, I wouldn't say I was depressed, but I was very sad. It was a very sad time in my life. I couldn't play one of my favorite things. So what I did, I resolved to YouTube. I let you, I told you guys, I said, Truth or Dare is going to be delayed for a little while because of my back injury. And you guys gave me so much support. I can't thank you guys enough. And that's when I started just making, like, that, that fishing series. That was one, that was one of the... Not many things that I could do with a injured spine. That was one of the things that was fun for me and did not affect me. I couldn't, I could barely, I could not run. Like, that's how bad it was. Like, I wish I could have had my uh, neck sport or my hoverboard that time. It would have been so much easier to get around and stuff. But yeah, so that was a pretty sad time in my life. But around when Thanksgiving was when I got and okay for my doctor to start being a little more active, and that was great for me, um, I was so happy, um, I was very excited about that, sorry, my, I have an itch, but I was, <laughs> I was very excited to finally get back to doing my normal, routinely stuff, so I was very excited about that, and around before that, I started thinking of ideas for, um, Something that I could do with an injured back. And I got this wild, crazy idea that I thought was impossible at the time. And it was 25 days of vlogs. I, I thought to myself, I was like, 
Christmas is my favorite season. I love making YouTube videos. Why don't we just put them into one? But I thought, like, holy crap, it'd be very difficult. I mean, it was extremely difficult, but I loved doing it. I mean, you guys saw me get, like, my first ever loot crate. You guys saw me open my first Christmas present. I mean, you guys saw it all. I mean, it was a very fun series. You guys basically lived with me through over half of December. And I, be I recorded almost everywhere that I went. Everywhere I went, I brought my iPad. Even when I was working out, I brought my iPad in case something happened. I Like, I brought my camera everywhere. And so, 25 days of vlogs was something that I will never, ever forget filming. Um, it was crazy series. It was very fun. Again, a series that vlog fan was crazy about. Thank you about that, by the way. And a ton of other people, too. And that was also a time that I realized, um, that... Oh, uh, crap. What was I going to say? Oh, I realized I actually have subscribers from around the world. Like, I would never have thought that was possible. I think a guy told me that he's from, like, uh, where was it? Maybe, oh, it was Scotland. And then other people from Canada. I was like, wait, what the heck? Canada and Scotland? Like, I thought, I'm just some, like, normal kid that likes making YouTube videos. I mean, at first I didn't even know how to freaking change my YouTube name. First it was my mom's name. And now, look at look at this channel. This is my channel up here. I have gotten a hundred, this is not a lot. To me, it's a lot, but to a lot of people, it's like, hey, dude, what are you doing? 157 subscribers. That is just, that blows my mind. And we're still growing. I mean, in one year, I got over 100 and, like, 120 subscribers. And the only thing that I can think of that is my family letting me do this. And without them, this YouTube account wouldn't even exist. Truth or Dare, all my friends that record Truth or Dare with me, and of course you guys. You guys are the main reason why I keep doing this. I asked you guys if we should do 25 days of vlogs. You said yes. So, that's basically my 2015 in, uh, that's basically my 2015. It was like, at first it started off pretty good, and then it just kind of went downhill but then it kind of got back up. Think mostly thanks to you guys and all my friends and family. I just want to, and also God and Jesus, my father. God, my father. He, without him, I could be honestly like out. I could never play football again. But he saved me and said, "This is not how I want you to go out. I want you to keep playing, living your dream, and playing football." So again, I just like to say thank you guys. For all the support. Happy New Year. Um, I hope you guys had a great 2015. Also, leave in the comments your favorite video that I made from 2015. Or favorite series. And um, I'll read all the comments. So yeah, this um, I'll, this is the, also my first video of 2016. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.